Hey, what's up, guys? Stiplex here again. Welcome back to episode 8 of our Tortuga Pirate's Tale Let's Play. I haven't done a Let's Play in so long, and I didn't think this was going to be one. But 8 episodes in, and it's definitely turned into one. And I'm excited to, because it's fun. I'm having so much good, good times with this game. I'm not longer sponsored by Calypso Media, so I'm not, like, contractually obligated to tell you to check out the game. But I'm saying that... Regardless, because it's an awesome game, so do check it out. I'm gonna continue playing this every Tuesday, I think. Tuesdays are like good days for Tortuga, I think. And I'm just having so much fun. Let me know if you guys pick this game up after watching me play. It'd be nice to see maybe one of you did. Or ten. Get their money for it. But no, I really do appreciate the opportunity I had, and it's been fun uh, to play this game, and I'll continue to. Usually, I... I mean, I'm just gonna go on the record here and say that I, I don't... I don't, there are, I get, have gotten so many sponsorship opportunities and, and proposals that I've turned down. I turned down many. In fact, I turned down one this year that was a big one. It would have paid a lot of money for not so much work, but I didn't think it was a solid product or service, and I didn't think the game was very good, and I'm not going to go into details. You didn't get to see it anyway, so it don't matter, but, you know... It's it's really nice when they when they support your channel and also allow you to play a game like this, which I would happily play without any sort of compensation. So I, that's why I choose to continue. That's really why I choose to continue. Uh, we have to accumulate grog, and uh, we're riding around here on my favorite coast, the Spanish one here, that they've got all the gunsmiths and hull makers and whatnot. And um, in fact. Do we have any of those secondary missions? We've got to sink some more ships and take on a new captain. That's on the side. Sink five English ships in sea battles. I think that's highly doable. So we've gone around, around, we've gone around everywhere. Let's just hit, hit the open seas. <laughs> if I can mix it in five accents in one. No, but I really love just sitting back and chilling. Maybe you guys turn on the video. What do you usually do when you watch my videos? It's like, it's like a secondary thing. Maybe you, maybe you study. I don't know if this is good studying uh, ASMR, but maybe you work on something on the computer. And just I usually watch live streams sometimes. Whoa! I don't think I've ever been that submersed before. Uh, they should make a version where you're a submarine going around raiding other submarines. Hey, I just got a brilliant game idea. Oh my god, don't wait. I'm copywriting this ver verbally. This is my idea. Okay, so imagine it's like a world like ours, but different. It's like maybe post-apocalyptic, maybe it's steampunk. Everyone's out on the seas and they've got submarines. And it's like this, but with submarines and steamships. And you can shoot torpedoes and board each other. And put, put things on your submarine. And you buy things. and It's like this game, but with submarines. But this game without submarines is still awesome. What happened to my fleet? Have I, all, have I only had three? I thought I had four. No, but I got four ships. Right? I never had three. No, this has always been the crew. We've always had three. I never had four. I think I've gone up against a fleet that did have four ships, though. That's like a... That's a I mean, that's like... Oh, he just he just zoomed past me. Let's kill some pirates. Oh, they're being chased. They were chased away. Yeah, let's kill some pirates. Tired of living. That's a good strength frigate. Yeah, well, I might want that. The brig. Get rid of our pirate barks. Let's, let's go. Share. We're off. What do you think of my submarine idea? Well, I'm gonna turn into a game developer. I think that's like the natural, the natural progression of having been a gaming YouTuber. It's like some, somehow working with gaming. That would be a dream of mine, honestly. I don't know what to do about this whole YouTube gig in a while. I mean, it's like Alpha and Omega, the, you know, from ashes to ashes, the channel starts off small, hits this massive, almost viral point where videos get hundreds and thousands, if not millions of views. And now it's like coming back to where it was 2011. I'm not saying it's dead. I mean, I've had good months recently. Um, and we're still having fun. But obviously, you got to do something. I don't think you can just... Oh, well, we just sunk that ship. I hope that wasn't the good one. I just don't think you can do any, everything always. That was probably the good one we sunk, right? No, that's the... I hope not. Because we just sunk a ship without taking a single, single hit. What's he going to do there? Oh, he's gonna hit armor us both. Okay, um, 90 to 20, 120. So let's like get into like like range where we can. Maybe I think I should have gone closer for this. This isn't gonna do much, is it? 
his resistance. Is that... Wow, that's pretty far firing too. I think we gotta bring down the armor. Uh, let's get into position. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's better than nothing. Choose Porter Star, where the first one that comes into range two is shot at. He's probably not going to do that. So we should have not fired the grape shot there. That was a little careless of me. But every now and then, you're a little careless. Bring down his armor good, and then I'm, I'm, I, I actually kind of want to board him. See what he does. Come on, men. Sing so the whole world can hear us. Uh, let's go around. Fire. We're sort of hitting all his sides at the same time here. Uh, where I wish there was like almost icons on the map. That's a little patch suggestion where it tells you where you have the best possibility to t hit the enemy when you position yourself there. I mean, I guess Let's it's sort of self-intuitive. You have to you scum. have to sort of you have to angle it in yourself, and you have to be pay attention to the different the different colors on the battlefield. The hex grid. Oh, he's gonna give our American captain a bit of a volley there. Don't worry, your Irish friend is on the way. That's awful positioning everywhere. We're just gonna end up hitting our own ship. Uh, we'll just send him in. We'll show him how now. it's done right. I don't want to hit my own ship. It, it's very. That might actually hit my ship a tiny bit. Let's see. No, we're good. It didn't. That's nice. Fortunate. So once we bring down the side armor, do you think we can hit... Do you think we can do real proper damage to the crew then? Because once we start doing that, I could imagine storming them. Oh, he's really going after this Finally, guy. This guy. I almost fell asleep. I've become so seasoned. Oh, that's... That's that's heavy. Yeah, that's... It. It's time for barding party. <laughs> it's time to bard. I'll bring on me big guys. We're gonna ram! Boom! And start boarding as well. The morale should be pretty shook up right now. Oh, we just took it! Oh, wait, no, we didn't take it. <laughs> we... Here we go, boarding party. your bets the fun can begin should we do a little volley into the side of it i'm just worried i'm gonna hit my own ship let's see if we can actually shoot some grape shot oh yeah that worked perfectly that's what i wanted to do the first time around Come but on. the armor we've got the wind in our favor yeah we don't need you guys anymore we'll finish this on our sometimes you're really unlucky and it just goes back in their favor but we've had those but it's been close we are victorious, correct? I believe. No? Okay, well, we'll give their crew another grape shot. Resistant, yeah, that's that's on the side they have armor. Come the grape on. shot doesn't penetrate that the one wind bit. In our favor. Right. Oh, that's a big blow to their crew. There can't be anyone left now. Another ship! Yes! Did we get any grog? No, a lot of tobacco though. That's nice. We can hold. We can hold ten ships. There. That's crazy. Ah, Let's. What a splendid nutshell we've bagged again. Let's head back a little bit, just briefly, because wait, no, 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 because I want to go to the people who can fix our hulls and everything and do a lot of proper upgrades. I love that stuff. That was a good little sea battle. I think we're gonna try and squeeze in another two today. We gotta array these English convoys though. Probably bring on the smaller ones because they have some big ships. No, so... Oh, are they being chased by Spanish? <laughs> so, um, what was I going with this? Well, I'm just excited to see what's going to happen next. Uh, what this year has to bring. I think everyone's, everyone's always excited for whatever the, you know, <laughs> life has to bring you this year. Uh, we'll do it later. We're going to buy a round, get a bunch of Everyone new sailors. With me. You're serving a good cause. Yes, I'm this very sort of interesting person okay um harbor master pirate dealer maintenance we don't need to repair any ships kick of rum 
So these are all pretty fire boat. Maybe the fire boat will be let on a ship that's on fire. That's awesome. Uh, I wish that was like a support thing, but it's not. It's all it probably is, but it's a weight. We're, we can't carry more weight. I wonder if that's because we're carrying so much uh, other things, like in our ho hold. Cargo capacity, maybe? This is the new one. This got, it's got root. Oh, this, this one's got 24 pounders. I think I want to keep those. Because that's, that's some, some, some up close and personal. I'll put Seamus on it. Oh, this one can do good. Let's get a fire boat. Hell yeah. That's awesome. This is a real, you know, this is a, r a real one. <laughs> this is the real one. Um, we can get more offensive stuff as well, like sabers. Did we have sabers on the other on the crew? No, we had we had guns. The handguns are good because their boarding strength is highly increased with handguns. So I think I'm gonna try and go get some handguns for this ship, and then we're gonna crew. Well, then we're gonna apply this one to, or give it to a um, another captain. Or, I guess Seamus is gonna get it. He deserves the big, big guns. I think our main ship is still more powerful than this one in terms of strength, so that's what I'm basing it off. I do like the 18-pounders, but now that we've got two sets of 24-pounders on this one, I think I'll leave it be. This is the cannon caster. I wonder if they have some more offensive equipment. What is this, a fucking trade convention? They're in, a, they're in a little concert. Off to new shores. On the seas. Old, well Swivel guns. <laughs> that might be something. No, but... Oh, mortar. We could just turn this into like a bomb ship. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I think the next person might have it. So we, we cast off. I like the idea of a mortar. 24 pounder and mortar. It's like a support ship. Keep it in the rear. You can do all kinds of crazy things to these fleets. Just imagine what you could do to that submarine game. Huh? That that un, un, uh, undeveloped, unmade fantasy submarine game or steamship game where you run... With, basically, developed by Calypso Media. Um, and it's a it's just an award-winning game. The original idea by Diplex Seeded. Yeah. I'm feeling it all the way, man. Like a map like this. Maybe the 1800s, the pirates in the late 1800s. Steamship pirates? Steam pirates? I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> uh, no, that's hold and all that. Cabin's nice. Ram, that's good for ramming, but we don't do that. So this one definitely has the weight capacity to hold what much more. 525. This one's... Oh, our, our main ship's only got... Yeah, it's got 525, so it's, it's an equal on that side. I think it's got to be the next one. I'm sorry, guys, but there's definitely someone here that's got guns. Pistols. I think these ports don't have anything. I mean, they have something, but I'm not sure. I want to verify. Yeah, one, no. You've seen them all. They're selling and as stuff. As long as the rum's tasty, no problem. Might do another sail around the world. Doesn't take that long when you're doing 2.5 speed. Got two imminent cities here. This is another pirate cove. I don't think I've seen this one. Where is it? It's like here, Hella. The local specialties are delicious. Yes. I'll go get myself a rum. This is what we wanted, good sir. Handguns, because I. This is gonna be a, a ship that's gonna have decent crew. What does the other one have? 80? 90? Yeah, like, definitely. Definitely handguns. What more can we get here? Hammocks? That's nice. Maybe hammocks, too. Yeah, this could be our boarding ship. Wow. I'm loving that. What is hammock? It's... it's... Yeah, man, I'm loving, I'm loving this. We, we, um, probably... Probably can't add any more weight to... No, <laughs> this is a this is an excellent ship. This is going to be my main ship because I'm going to be storming. Storming. So, we're going to go to the fleet here and we're going to have to reassign some ships, my man. This is going to be your ship now because it's powerful. It's crazy good. 
Uh, Seamus, you're gonna get our, our old ship. The, this one. And, uh, you're just gonna remain on that one, because it is... The, uh... No, that one's not. So now we have two extra ships. We could sell one. We could sell the, We could honestly sell the brig. I'm thinking we'll, we do sell the brig. It's been... It's served us very well. It has served us very well. And it's an expensive, pretty ship. But it is 338 in strength. The next one is 342. And honestly, once we start installing... Un installing another defensive slot on here. Doesn't carry that much weight. I think these weigh so much. What I feel like this one is like... How could this one hold so much more? Look at the armor plating and hull. It's greater. The armor plating is lesser here. And this one's just got small crew. Cargo capacity 160. 18 pounders, 18 pounders too, but they do more damage. That's interesting. That's very interesting. How come? All right, anyway, maybe because there's more of them. Let's sell this one. Get a good, good bit of cash. Now we can hunt even bigger fish. Let's cast off and get back to the action. That's the, that's that pirate hideout. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You guys ready to kill some pirates? They might have the grog we're looking for. Yeah. I Mistake. They are, and they're, and they're dying to make it. Okay, they start. They're gonna turn both of the ships around. Very simple. Now we're gonna get to use our new 24 pounders. <laughs> wait, 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 we have to turn around too. I thought we were. Oh, yeah. With enough foresight, we can win every battle. Let's see what we got here. It'd be interesting to have the mortar to see what it could do at this range, but it would probably cost too much action points. Maybe you could only fire the mortar and then, then not actually move it. Full Who knows? Speed ahead. This is our. This is the one we're gonna use to like basically storm this ship ASAP. We're just gonna go up here, fire a broadside right into them. Let's do that one too. In case they come around, let's do a little fireboat on that. Did they? We did. Oh, look at that! <laughs> cool. And then let's just fire a big broadside here. That's going to be nasty. Oh. Let's hope we don't hit our own ship here. Now we're good. Nice. Come on. We've got the wind in our favor. I'm going to move you right up there, actually. Oh, we hit both ships in that. That's beautiful. Yeah, that ship is so ready for the taking. Let's see what they do. Okay, so they're not going to be on that side. They're going to hit us there. What are you going to do? Oh, they hit both of us. Our allies pretty shook up there. Let's do that. Let's ram and start a boarding. That ramming maneuver is the best one I've ever had. It's like a guaranteed boarding. And oh my god, their crew is so shook up right now. They're going to probably wither away instantly. Back into action. I just made myself comfortable. To make it really quick, why don't we just shoot some shrapnel? Resistant, All right? I thought we I thought we took out the rear armor. Wow, this is Oh no! What the hell? What? All right. So the whole world can hear us. That shut me up good. Oh, that that, that was bad. That was that, that was royal scum. That was really bad. Let's see what we're gonna hit here. We're gonna hit all the ships. We hit that one pretty good. We're good though. We got the armor. Our crew just took a beating there. Um. Okay, we're gonna push them back, gain the advantage. It's not great though, their morale is way better. They they it was like a it was like one of those ambushes, like in the Patriot, you know? When they try and rob try and rob the Majesty's um cargo and out jumps a bunch of red coats. 
and uh, Tavington comes out of nowhere. I saw that movie recently. It was one of those moments where, where it's like, where we think we're doing Do we so well and we attack a ship and then, and then it goes crazy. I'm gonna hit them anyway. Because if we can't win the, if we can't win the boarding, I'm a bit scared here. Yeah, I think we'll take it back, but that was a close one. That's definitely one of those moments in the movie where you start doubting and maybe a hero dies or something. The son, the son of the captain dies in that battle. It's like that, it's like some part of Troy or something. Okay, that boat is just gone for. That's not gonna bother us anymore. I wanna try, try an additional grape shot here. It's resistant. I believe it. Oh, they didn't surrender yet. Interesting. Can we even hit them from here? There we go. Seven men down. There's like three of them left now. There can't be much. Yeah, it's pretty... It's, it's we've won that. All right, that was a close one. Though. That was close. Nice tobacco pipe, coffee, grog. No grog. Where do we get the grog? Hide it back. It's one of those we're gonna sell because it's. Maybe it could become a lot better though with the. Oh wow, the armor plating is insane. It's got the silver armor plating. That one's got gold armor plating. We got bronze, bronze. How do we improve that? Ah, what a splendid nutshell we've bagged again. How do we improve that? Let's go back and then make our way to England. Uh, so we're gonna cut across and head back to the. That's where we want to go. Oh, we're gonna get caught up. No, we'll be fine. We're a bit faster, fortunately. Ooh. Ooh. That's 24 pounders. I do like it though. Um, yeah, that's gold. Gold. Hull, hull tier three. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, so we don't need to do much about this. The reinforced frame is good enough here. What could we do about this last piece of ship that we just caught? Is it this one? This is the one we upgraded the 18 pounders. This one could definitely use some extra, extra better guns. Maybe I wonder how big, how powerful this one would become with those extra guns because the armor in this thing is great. Look at that. It's it's not as good as those, but it's better than the other ones we have for the other captains. It's better than that one. And this one, yeah, and it's also better than. Uh, Seamus has got four. He's got an insane amount, so that's good. These are like pretty much equal, and in fact, these are equal. I think this has been increased by with with experience. Because it's, it's pretty damn similar. I like this. These two ships are awesome. This one, I'm not sure. These have no captain either. But this one is... This one's better. This one's not as good. So how about we sell this one. And then improve this one. Because it's already stronger. And got a bigger crew. So let's sell this one. Yeah, we're doing it. And then we'll take this ship. Which we can't. Oh, okay. A fight with a history making triumph. They attacked us, and then we told them to surrender, and they did. Maybe if you get attacked, maybe you guys should patch the game so that they don't uh, attack you. Like if, or that they don't surrender if they attack you because they wanted to. It's kind of funny when you're sitting in port and they attack you, and then they and you just pull up all the guns, and you're like. Surrender, and they're like, "Oh, we thought you were, we thought you guys were just kidding around. We didn't know you were real pirates. God, we're not real pirates. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, I thought they were gonna go for beef too. It's scary being chased by like a Spanish war fleet. They're just cruising behind you like a police on the highway. Or old, well-traveled ones. We've seen. We've got this." That was drastically bad. I'm glad we didn't do that. Go back. Don't do that. That would have been awful. Cabin. No. Once again, that would have been awful. I wish, I'm glad you can just click back. Now we gotta go to this one. This one we're gonna use. 
This is Clement Mercier's. Uh, yeah, so this one. What what would this one do with? That's gonna make it worse. No, it's got it's got the top of the top here. Hold maybe? Nah. So we can't. Okay, so. What does this do? Because it like it. Does that mean we get more? Oh wait. Does that mean it lowers the weight so we can put more guns on there? And oh wait, oh, should we try? I'm, I'm, I want to save here in case, in case I fuck up. Excuse my language. And now we can put more guns on here. Right? Wait a minute. I saw a difference there. Let's go back. Let's try. Let's check that out again. I think the men truly need this surely. It looks the same. It doesn't change visually that much. But I think that could be one of those things. Well, we gotta go get the better guns for this ship. The 18-pounders. I believe that cannon caster is probably up here somewhere. But we're gonna go around down this way. We'll find another one in that, in that, in that case. Interesting. I'm very intrigued. That might be something we need to look into by spending money to get two cannon decks and it lo lowers the weight so you can put more. Because it shouldn't it shouldn't decrease the firepower. Maybe it decreases the firepower because you're like spreading them out somehow. I'm not convinced I understand how that deck thing works. If anyone here knows, then please do let me know. Portobello, this is my favorite one. I think one. the men truly need this surely. Yeah, how do I give them a short leave? Um, let's sell these. And let's get the 18 panthers. And starboard deck. Hold up. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, what? It can't because of the weight? Wait, what? Sell this one instead. I don't understand how that worked. That was weird. There was something about the weight. The armor maybe was too much. We don't need. We'll, we'll capture another ship that's even better than these. We can only have three at, at the time anyway, so. I'm happy with that. Let's uh, go around to raid some English ships. Maybe the Dutch have grog. I think the Dutch might have grog. You might have grog. Ooh. A trader's fleet. Nice. Earn your share. That's the first. Off. Let's do this one, guys. Okay. Oh, that's a big crew. Yeah, that's a strong ship. Look at him. 120, 148. We got 82, but we got 144 boarding strength, so it's relatively quite good. Let's also send away a little one of those. Let's execute. So that should fire into there once they Back move. Into action. I just made myself comfortable. Must suck to be that guy. Surrounded by Three pirate ships, bloodthirsty pirates. Oh, we, oh, oh, we got ahead. him though. We got him though in that volley. That was awesome. Nice. 
Oh, but now we're now we've uh, unloaded on that side, so we're gonna have to move this close. But that should be fine for our big guns. Yeah, that that ship likes to get up close and personal. Minus fifteen. Oh, that's interesting. Grid. Is that gonna hit me? No, it's gonna miss everything. Sometimes that happens. It's been a while. Oh, we did. Oh, oh, speed ahead. They missed everything at that range. How is that possible? Shame on you. I do want to capture this ship, so keep that in mind. Come on, men. Sing let's um. So the whole world can hear us. Let's start attempting to fire some uh, some grape shots. It's resistant. I would have figured. Should we board with this guy and watch him get taken over? I don't like the idea of that, but... Once we bring down some more armor... We'll show them how it's done right! Let's do one more. That's... that's juicy. Now they're gonna start losing crew members. I just made myself comfortable! Let's move over here. Fire grape shot. Oh, it's resistant. Damn. This grape shot thing isn't isn't working for us. At all. Now we're really starting to do some damage to it. Okay, he's gonna shoot at some others. Let's um Let's uh we can't use that anymore now. Let's uh fire grape shot. Resistance, that's crazy. Oh, it's almost down. Oh, no more shooting at it now because it's it's really close to just, just with, with wiltering completely. Let's uh, bring the guys out. Let's try for some extra grape shots. That's nice. Perfect. As soon as it's his turn, we'll let him do his thing. And we'll board. We'll board. Let's hope we get the boarding. Nice! That's exactly what we wanted. Head over there. Let's fire some grape shot. Kill an extra three crew members. Yeah, we're so ready for the boarding now. With our heart in the right place, no one, one can stop maybe us. one more, yeah. Resistant. Alright, okay. Let's go get the boarding done. Come on! We're just gonna keep firing grape shots at it, to be honest. Where's a good place for that? It's not gonna do much, but... It's something. It's morale. There we go. Come on. Nice. Please be with us. So we don't hit our own guys. Minus nine, that's excellent. Things are definitely flying our way now. Let's just park them up there. Another yes! Nice! I really wanted this one. We didn't doubt for a second. What should we do the captain? It's fun to chase the dandified frocks across the <laughs> We made him walk the plank. That's crazy. Uh, let's inspect the loot. No grog. No nothing, really. Uh, but let's take over that ship. Rather than go without the booty. Nice new ship. Now yeah, let's head straight back into Cartagena. Out of it. Let's do a little uh, tavern Thank stuff. God. I hate to admit it, but I was slowly Ooh, getting Oh, we need a lot of crew stomach. members. More crew means more work gets done. Means more time to drink rum. Means more throats to sing shanties. Yes. So the new one is this uh, trader's float, and it's beautiful. Yeah, this is good stuff, mate. Uh, the, look at the armor on this one. It's brazy. 
And I think we could easily fit two, two 18-pounders in this one. So let's do that. No, I want the pistols. So we're going to move back up the coast again. But before we do so, let's uh, go to the fleet and let's uh, assign this Floyd. This fleet would be ours. Seamus, you're going to take over um, that one. And Clement Mercier, you're going to get to take over that one. We're all going to have 700 plus ships now. That's awesome. That's going to be a little bit of a long video, guys. But it's been a while since we played, so I'm excited to be back. 338k. I think it's time we we should probably uh, go to the tavern and uh, divide the booty. Oh, they're just asking for so much now. Nice. That's good. That's good. I love that. Ooh. Maniac. That sounds suitable. Uh, yeah, nice. Divide the loot per person, uh, 181, good impression, win sea battles, 17, sink 17 ships, improve ships, divide loot, hire seamen, capture ships, and win sea battles. It's decent, it's been worse, but it's not that good. So we're going to move up the coast again. Go, my favorite place, Portobello. We're gonna stop here and go to the Harbor After Master. Shores, or this fleet, well look at this. I love it. <laughs> 18 pounder there and 18 pounder there. Wait. Oh, so that means they both got 18 pounders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, confirm. Good work. Good. Because the other one, it was just only one. It was really fish. weird. I was like, what's going on with that? Order. Now, listen, this is a good chip. This is a really good chip. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to head up to the next guy because I believe these guys up here have the... Uh, oh, we're tilting. These guys have the pistols. So we're just moving up and down this coast, this beautiful, this beautiful Central American coast. And we're just getting the, the latest and greatest for our ships. That's, that's what this game is a lot about. It's about ship management and... And stuff, and I think that's really cool. So blue fields should have what we're looking for. Otherwise, it's that other place with the grappling hooks down there. But I believe, or it could be the one with the, the one with the powder keg. That's another one. The local specialties are delish. I'll yeah, no, that's definitely the one. Um, yeah. So where was that? Was that further down? Because that had the grappling hooks, but that, I don't think that one has the one. No, it's this one around the corner up here that's got the the the, the, the powder keg symbol. So, these are like the only places that I'm familiar with that has those upgrades. So, it's like I'm just staying around this place for the most instant upgrades of my ships. That's the tall tree. Two, what's our strength? Two, two, six, five. That's... I haven't seen, I haven't seen a mighty fleet. Might have fled from a pirate fleet that had much more. Or, that could have been a long time ago. But here we go to Tela, Portobello. And that other place. That's my favorites. Thank God. I hate to admit it, but I was getting sick to my stomach. Good Boom. Work. Now we can hunt even bigger fish. Listen. Let's get that as well. What can we get for this one? No, this one cap this one has no captain. But this one can't carry any more weight, so that's just that's a good other offensive ship for later. Let's go. 555. Five, five. 845. Okay, but we're going to go back and get the final support things for this. And then we're going to call it a day, and then we're going to enjoy this beautiful fleet. I think I might just get ships later and sell them, because honestly, we're so powerful now. I haven't met anyone that can even come close to challenging us, even the biggest fleets I've seen. But I think the way it goes, if you progress, the AI progresses too, they get better ships. We're starting to see these fluids. This is the first time we got a trader fluid. This doesn't even look like a pirate ship. We look like a Dutch merchant right now. That's how rich we are. We're a Dutch merchant rich. That's that kind of richness we're on right now. 
And they always come with these upgraded hulls and frames, though. We don't have to worry much about that. I just want to make sure we don't run around with some nine pounders. Like, that's petty, man. 18 at least. 18 karat gold, man. Even the 24 pounders. That's some solid stuff, too. All right, the last dude is down here. It's going to be a 40 minute video. Hope you guys have uh, had fun. Let me know if you're still watching. This is a cat. This is Portobello. I know that. But there's this other place that I like down here. It's not this one, it's that one. Cartagena. Cartagena, Tela, and Portobello. My favorite place to be. My favorite three cities in the world. Top three cities Thank to visit God. on a budget. I hate to admit it, but I was slowly getting sick to my stomach. So this one, we couldn't, yeah, uh, because of the, uh, so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like we, yeah, but this one's got more support room. Support room, I know. Oh, it, you do this before we, we, but the, enabling this, the fireboat, that's cool. We can do both. We can do both. That's awesome. That's incredible. Good work. 9.05. Oh my god! That's incredible. Do we do we recruit any more sailors? Yeah. We'll get them to give up that accent yet. Alright guys, but thank you guys for watching this video. Look forward to episode 9 probably coming out next say. week or this weekend. Who knows? It depends on how much you guys want to see. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys. Look at this beautiful ship of ours. Alright, cool. Bye. <laughs>